Hey guys, welcome to Louis Daylights Photography. I am your host, I'm your pal, your confidant, Louis Daylights. Welcome to this new episode. This episode is going to feature a collaborator named Crystal. Crystal came from many, many miles away to visit us at the Sanctuary Home Studio, and you're gonna see her bringing her best with my Tropical Summer set that I created in the Sanctuary Home Studio. Out back, you will see beautiful digitals that we lured her in with, as well as some behind the scenes footage of the process and some beautiful shots with the Mamiya RB67 Pro SD, shot on the 90 millimeter lens with medium format film Kodak Portra 400. It's gonna be a good one, stay tuned. So the algorithm has been a little bit angry with me because we have not been as consistent as we should be coming back from our vacation in Puerto Rico. However, there's so much content to share with you guys. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the notification bell, hit like any kind of interaction with our YouTube channel is so appreciated. You guys always leave some really wonderful comments and it's really inspiring. This channel is definitely meant to be a self love kind of channel, but at the same time, the way that I receive love is by giving it back to you first. If you enjoy the content in regards to our behind the scenes footage of our photo shoots and everything that we do featuring analog film and digital photography, I am eager to share with you. I'm eager to show you anything that I can impart on you in regards to working with models, using equipment and gear that is going to help you and be beneficial to you in the long run. So thank you for watching moving forward. So ladies and gentlemen, meet Crystal. As you may know by now, I love working with unique faces and models of all types from as far away from the local map as possible. When I observed Crystal, I saw deep blue eyes and a deep dark complexion, features that are sharp and edgy, yet femme and fit. I love it. So upon meeting her, I found out a little bit about her. It turns out she's half German and half Native American. Wow, imagine that love story taking place a couple of generations back. So we lured her in with my now vintage camera, wink wink, the Canon 5D Mark IV, in order to illustrate to you guys what can still be done with a great camera like the Canon 5D Mark IV. It is my workhorse, I use it for everything photography, and although I shoot video with my Sony a7 III, and it's got great capabilities for photography. I just, there's something about my camera. The tropical summer set of the Sanctuary Home Studio where she was down to go under the copper shower head for a radiant theme to showcase her fitness and unique looks. I felt the heat of performing well because if you see her work, she's got some great shots and some great shoots under her belt with really good photographers. two or three different light settings in order to accommodate different potential styles that either the model will like or styles that I'll like in post that sometimes a photographer will go into something saying, okay, this is what they're going to look like. And they only shoot with one lighting style and that's what they get at the end. And no one's trying to deviate, but I really love the options of having different themes to choose from. And you know what? I'm always thinking of stuff I'm going to post and the stuff I'm going to post is to promote the business. It's to share with others what can be done. So when I share something that's been fully edited, that's got a specific kind of look to it, maybe a few weeks down the line or a couple months down the line, I'll revisit some of the other lighting styles that I took from the same shoot and offer a different style of photography or look or theme simply for the fact that I was able to get during the day that we shot different lighting styles. I don't know if any of that makes any sense to other photographers. I really haven't gotten a pulse on that, but creatively for me, that's really fulfilling. <laughs>
right now the future is really unseen we don't know what's going on around the world this channel is not really about that to discuss that or, or to contemplate any of those things but what i will say to you is this each one of us has a responsibility to live our lives to the best of our ability to share with our families and try to raise up a family in the best way that we can and i'm not trying to tell anyone what to do but if you can enjoy your life and get the most out of it while crazy things are happening around the world then you're a step ahead of the game it doesn't mean that you're blind to what's going on it just means that you're trusting that not everything is in your hands and if you can trust that everything is not in your hands then you're one step ahead of the game where you don't have to stress or worry because someone else is in control right so if you have faith in something believe in it pray to it do what you have to do in my case i will pray to my lord jesus Dang, I just did that. In any case, I love you guys. God bless you guys. I really hope for the best. And, you know, respect each other. Love each other. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.